What's up, my golden flowers? It's your girl, Goldilocks. Hey, it's your girl, Goldilocks. Hey, and I am back with another video. Yeah. So, you guys, today we are going to be making some nice, ooey gooey, cheesy baked macaroni and cheese y'all that's right i said it baked macaroni and cheese y'all just take a moment for that like take a moment of silence for that macaroni and cheese all right i know thanksgiving is coming around it's coming very much so faster than we expected so i'm gonna help y'all out i am going to be giving away my little recipe Actually, it's not my recipe. So, I want you guys to get in on this little special treat on how I bake my macaroni and cheese. If you guys are interested in this recipe, you guys stay tuned because uh, this is the shit they should have told you, boo. Flights, more champagne. champagne. Different places say the same thing. As you grow, you see that things change. A nine to five just help you maintain. What you're going to need first, of course you're going to need some elbow macaroni. I have my pot boiling, ready for that elbow macaroni to go in. Some heavy cream, carnation, evaporated milk, butter, two eggs, or sharp cheddar cheese. I have the big one and the small one because I want an extra cheesy mine. I also have some inside the refrigerator too, just in case this isn't enough. You're also gonna need your seasonings of choice. You can do salt and pepper, but you know, for me, I gotta get a little razzle dazzle in there. Got me some all purpose seasoning salt. Got me the infamous slap your mama, there you go, there you go. And I got me some pepper. All right, you guys, now I am no expertise. I am not a chef. I am not that. I am just cooking for my family. My family enjoys it, so hey. So I'm just gonna pour half of the box of the elbow macaroni. Well, depending on, depending on, um, the size of your family. Mine is just um, four people in my household and we don't normally need a whole box because noodles expand, all that, so. All right, you guys, so now we are about to make the roux, okay? So in this pot, of course, we have our noodles going ahead and cooking up a storm. They are actually almost done because we want them al dente. But in to make and get started on our cheesy roux, we are going to add one stick of butter inside there. Go ahead and melt that down. So now that our butter is actually melted down, we are going to add in our milk. Okay? So the first things first is our heavy cream. We're gonna add that into here. And at the same time, I turned down my um, my eye. So right now we're gonna have it on low. Now that heavy cream is gonna actually get it, um, you know, thick. All right, now that heavy cream is coming to a, a nice consistency with the butter. As you can see, it's all blended in very well. We're gonna go ahead and add our Evaporated milk by carnation. Add a little bit of that inside of it. We're gonna do a half a can first. Let's go ahead and mix that together. This is sharp cheddar cheese, but I'm going to be actually adding in some shredded modernary jack as well as some cheddar and um, some queso cheese. And that's all in here. It's also the Mexican cheese. Please just remember you guys to keep your, um, your temperature on a low because you don't want anything to stick or start burning. In my sharp cheddar. Now, you guys see how thick that is right there? That's when you know it's time to add in the rest of your carnation evaporated milk. Hey. 
Now it's time for your seasoning. What you're gonna do is crack your two eggs and pour it inside of the roux. Then you top it off, you guys, with your shredded cheese, right? So we're gonna go ahead, sprinkle some of that shredded cheese on this, and then you repeat. All right, you guys, so now we are at the tip top final layer, all right? Now, I'm gonna, I already have my oven preheated to 350. So, this is the final step inside the macaroni, the baked macaroni and cheese, you guys. Some people like to put, to sprinkle the cheese on top of it and then put it in the oven. Me, I like to cook it all really, really good inside the oven and then, when it's 10 minutes left for the baked macaroni and cheese, that's when you sprinkle all that cheddar cheese, that sharp cheddar cheese on it, put it on broil, and then you guys can have a nice golden crisp of cheese on top of it. No, let me just stop talking. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, you guys. So, taste testing it. Good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Make sure you like, comment down below, and let me know anything that you guys wanted to add. What is your favorite recipe on making macaroni and cheese baked, okay? Also, make sure you guys subscribe, okay? Make sure you subscribe because I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, you guys. And once I hit that thousand mark, it's a wrap from there. But until then, this is the shit they should have told you. Flights, <laughs> more champagne. Different places say the same thing. As you grow, you see that things change. A nine to five just help you make.